All right, we're at another service call, also a steam boiler. I'm trying to get a good angle of the roof because they're electing another Pope and my God, I'm not even Catholic, I'm Jewish. Come on, how many Popes do we need? <laughs> All right, Peter, yep. let's go over here. We'll go down the block a little bit and take a look at that. There's the top of the chimney. All right, it looks like there's some kind of liner in it, but the chimney's disintegrating. If you look really careful enough, you'll see a white vapor, which is steam. Let me show you the boiler. <coughs> All right, so what we have here is we have a Whale McLean EG45 uh, gas-fired steam boiler. Uh, Peter, something a little different. This little white box, this is made by White Rogers. This is a spark ignition box for this flame rectification gas valve. What's different about this gas valve here is if you hold the light, let me show you something. We have all these wires going into, we have three wires, right? Mm -hmm. Similar to like main valve, MV, PV, MV, PV. Yeah. We also have another one as well. But if you look right here, I'm gonna take this out of it for you. Look at that. See a little plug, looks like an outlet. Yeah. It goes into a very thin little capillary tube. Mm -hmm. which goes to the actual, I guess, thermal couple looking device, but it's actually the spark ignition uh, device. Let's see if we can get this back in there. Okay, so this system here with that and the way it's wired, right, was Honeywell, Whale McLean White Rogers in the early 1980s, the EPA because of the uh, fuel embargo, mm -hmm. you know, kind of like outlawed standing pilots, right? And they had these boiler manufacturers need to quickly come up with a way to make an intermittent pilot or intermittent ignition spark ignition system. And this was their attempt. It worked for a little while, for about five, seven, ten years in most cases. And then they were junked, they were thrown out, and people went to a standing pilot, which became the norm. Uh, because, I don't know, for some reason, uh, again, that's the story that was told, handed down to me. Because in the early 1980s, I was in diapers. Yeah. <laughs> right? So... <clears throat> This is a flame rectification gas valve. See that there's a Whale McLean part number there. This is the CP number for this old Whale McLean gas fire boiler. And feel how hot it is there. And that's why we're taking a look at that. When we first turned the boiler on, we had some steam coming up here and you could just barely see it right there a little bit, but you can actually see it. You see it's moving right there. Uh, side glass, lower to cut off. Um, automatic feeder, mm -hmm. relief valve, right, which is 15 PSI. And if you take a look at this little box right here, and an electric box, that's your uh, spill switch, Interesting. right? And it gets wired to the low water cutoff. But unfortunately, this boiler is, has a crack above the water line, it's leaking steam, it's going up the chimney. So we have three inch coming up. <clears throat> That's Whale McLean's signature EG series boilers. We had three inch, one tapping, single tapping, three inch coming up. And a lot of plumbers either continued this in three inch or they put a three by two cast iron um, reducing 90 there. And then they came across with your header, your header, and then your equalizer going to your Hartford loop, which is right there. This is a dry return. That's a dry return. And that's a dry return, but it's actually only two dry returns, but there's three leaving. So I'm gonna guess that this pipe here, right, which goes to here, all right, there's a, there's a connection there, goes up and across, and then that one goes all the way over there to there, so we're radiating. And one other thing, ow, we can look for, is the amount of rust in the draft diverter box. So this thing's been leaking for a while. And because they have an automatic feeder, they never even knew it. What does that mean? <laughs> um, that means that you're going to need to replace the boiler. Not today. Well, not today. It's working today. It's been leaking for a while, but... It's on the bottom, right? No. No? No. Well, we haven't... I haven't even pulled the, the burners yet and looked inside there yet. I came here, verified the problem. It, it, the first, when we first got here, I actually went to the wrong thermostat. And I'm driving myself oh, crazy. Yeah, because there's two thermostats there, right? <laughs> yep. There's the Honeywell Yo-Yo, the T87F yep. thermostat there with the mercury. And then 
And I, I, we went, we, we bypassed the thermostat here. So finally, I went upstairs because we got to work. And I'm like, okay, well, then he needs a new thermostat. But let's verify that. I went to the thermostat, took the plate off, and there's no wire on the heating circuit. And I'm like, we're at the wrong effing thermostat. <laughs> no wonder it doesn't work the heat. <laughs> exactly. So then I'm looking around, like right behind us is the other one. Yeah. And by the... He should have told you. <laughs> um, yeah, we also broke into the apartment. So whatever it was like. <laughs> Didn't she leave it unlocked? No, we used the key. No, her apartment. That was unlocked. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so what's happening is that for an unknown amount of time, a, a you know an x x amount of time ago, a hole or crack developed above the water line. Like you can see, there's a sight glass here. Right. You're you're a Tanaka's wife, so I'm I'm sure you're familiar with a lot Same of these thing, things. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. So this is the sight glass. You right. can see there's a water line there. So that's considered the water line of the boiler. Right. Somewhere above there is a crack. And that's okay. evident by what the steam that we saw there, and there's a white smoke that we're seeing on top of the chimney that's disintegrating. By the okay. way, it should have a, it should have that lined or redone. I, I, I when I first got here, we, we were here a little bit early. I called your husband, and uh, we were talking, just chit chatting for a little bit because I guess he loves to talk like I do. And I said, "What's up with your chimney? Like, what do you mean?" It's like I just had a new roof put on. I was like, "I didn't say your roof. I said your chimney. It's like crumbling apart. There's miss bricks missing. Is there's, it? There's bricks missing from that from that chimney. Yeah." I'm sorry. So, <laughs> yeah. uh, so uh, then he told me about the tick, 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 tick. And I was like, oh, if it's tick, tick, ticking. And as soon as I saw what it was, I was like, oh, you need a new, you need a new ignition system. And I was like, you know what, but let me just make sure, my, make sure everything else is fine. And then we'll go from there. Because he was like, well, listen, if I need to replace the boiler, I was like, I treat others like I want to be treated. You know, the whole tenant. I get it. He's, an, he's not a slumlord. You guys aren't yeah. slumlords. You, this, is your, this is your investment. But you, people deserve to have a roof they, over their head and running pay. water they and pay. heat. And, all the, and they pay, you know. Um, but I said, listen, let me give it all at once over. And then once I got it running, before you arrived, I got him on the phone. I told him I had to kick the, I, you know, I, I didn't kick the, the boiler, but I tapped on the side of the gas valve and it turned on. Wow. You don't, yeah. you shouldn't tap something. Quick fix. Yeah. <laughs> like if you kick your car to get it to start, yeah. all right, I guess it, but it's still not good. But if you have to kick, like your stove, if, in order to get your stove to work, you have to kick it. Uh, you shouldn't yeah. be using that stove. You should fix it. Here, you can't get these parts anymore because it's that old of a system. Um, and I'm sure I could probably find maybe a remanufactured, maybe even a used part somewhere on the vast internet that's called the world of the World Wide eBay. Web, right? <laughs> eBay. But then you're taking a chance, right? Maybe it doesn't work. Maybe it is. But um, there's a hole above the water line. The steam is going not into the pipes, all of it. It's going up the chimney. So you're heating the atmosphere and you're killing the chimney as well at the same time. All right, Peter, a little bit of education today. Ever see that? You never saw a little plug like that coming out of a gas valve before, right? Uh, no. Nope. I've never seen the way that spill switch was. And that, yeah, you don't see that that often anymore. Um, back in the days, they tried to uh, add safety devices to systems, and that was an attempt to do it. It was an attempt. It was an attempt. It probably works. So, um, we don't know if we got the job or not, because um, he's not replacing it right now, and it's working. It's just has a crack in it, and it's leaking steam, but... It is what it is. All right, guys, hope you got something out of this video, something educational, learn something new every day. That's what I say. And together, we can make the trades great again. Ain't that right, Peter? Awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, be well. God bless. Stay safe.